Chief Meteorologist Katherine Thompson here. Again, I'm coming to you from my home this evening as we're still practicing that safe social distancing. It's been a pretty nice spring day, I will say. Temperatures have been warmer. We've seen plenty of sunshine. Most of us today were able to top off in the upper 50s and low 60s, and we're still comfortable right now. A lot of sunshine still to go around. Our radar right now is not uh, looking very busy at all. We've seen a few clouds maybe from time to time, but barely even any clouds in the sky with high pressure and control. Again, our temperatures are still comfortable. Most of us still sitting in the low 60s, if not the upper 50s for some, but we do have some changes on the way. We do have a system that's going to be inching our way as we head into the overnight hours and into tomorrow. If we look at our surface map, that cloud cover builds in through tonight and rain will be on our doorstep by Thursday morning. We're talking widespread rain too. Even a few thunderstorms could be in there as this strong frontal system crosses our area. It's not really going to get out of here either until Friday afternoon. So it looks kind of wet tomorrow and at least through early Friday. So let's take a closer look at future cast. Again, tonight, not as cold with that cloud cover rolling in. That traps some heat for us. Temperatures tonight in the 40s, but dry. Then that rain rolls in tomorrow morning, especially between roughly 7 a.m., 11 a.m. We could see some widespread downpours there. And I do think we could get a break during the day, but a few more thunderstorms uh, during the evening, even after the sun goes down. Uh, eventually we start to dry out, but I think Friday morning even looking pretty wet with scattered showers continuing. And let's go ahead and look at our rainfall outlook. We're in a marginal risk of excessive rainfall. Uh, that's again for tomorrow and I'm thinking at least through early Friday we could see some localized flooding issues arise as we're looking at around a half inch of rain in some spots if not more with those locally heavy downpours. The good news is right now our severe weather outlook is looking very minimal across our area. Much better risk of that uh, will be to our south, but it's gonna get windy again. And some of these wind gusts actually concern me. If we look at our wind gust forecast, you can see these reds, even some purples pop up. Uh, south of 460, especially where these winds are really racing down the mountains. I'm thinking we could have gust anywhere from 50 to almost 60 miles an hour. I would not be surprised if wind advisories were eventually issued for some counties as we head into tomorrow. It's going to be gusty, so expect some gusty showers and for maybe some power outages or some down trees, especially if anything's kind of hanging from those storms we've seen over the past few weeks. So again, to recap tonight, temperatures for most not quite as cold. A lot of clouds rolling in though, most of us in the 40s tomorrow. We're still going to be around 60 or so, but it's going to be wet and it will be on and off showers and thunderstorms. Again, gusty winds at times throughout the day. Our seven-day forecast showing those showers lasting at least through Friday morning, but then they kind of fade away. I do think we'll get some possible rain again, though, on Saturday evening into Sunday. So not the driest weekend, but we do look to stay decently seasonable with temperatures in the 50s and 60s for highs through the weekend and into early next week. Hey, stick with us. We'll be right back.